working on a 22 kW today. I just replaced the air box and to replace the air box, you gotta remove the mixer assembly. The mixer assembly is one with the stepper motor, which is the gas pedal. All right, so to do this, you gotta take, to take this off, you gotta take that off. To take that off, you better be in for some time. You gotta take the snorkel out, which goes right here, in between here, and the uh, airbox cover. Then there is an access hole right here. If your machine does not have this access hole, drill one in for yourself. Make your, make your life easier. Anyway, go through there, and that'll give you access to that hole right there. And if I can find it to get to the, this screw right here and that screw, right? If, when you go to take this off, you might have to hit it. Do not hit it here, here, or there. The only place you can safely hit it is right here. Take the blunt end of your demo screwdriver. You guys should all have one of these from Milwaukee, all right? Take the blunt end of it right here and just whack it a few times. Create a little space. Create a little space in here in between the two pieces, right? This is your intake manifold and that's your mixing assembly. Create some space there. And what I ended up having to do is standing over here, like leaning over and yanking it. But you gotta be real careful because you don't wanna break this, even though you're replacing it, you don't wanna break this. But you just slowly, little by little, up, down, rotate, you know, there are two O-rings inside here. So you gotta be a little careful about what you, how you take this part off. PB Blaster does not help in this situation because the O-rings are up here, not down here. So it doesn't really help. What you end up having to do is pulling it off and you'll see some oxidation around the O-rings. God damn, did you hear that? Acorns. Um, the the O-rings will have some oxidation around them. Clean that off. If you have some assembly lube or grease or PB blaster, try not to use WD-40 because it is an O-ring and WD-40 can, you know, cause cause some damage to the O-rings. Um, but yeah, assembly lube or grease or some something like that would be best. PB blaster is okay as well. Anyway, hope this helps.